All right, here we are with the boys. <laughs> the yeah, better better know that you're going to be you're gonna be on camera a lot. <laughs> All right, boys, this is day one. Expectations. <laughs> we still have a year and a half to go. My expectation is to wake up properly. <laughs> Okay, so beforehand, I'm really sorry. All what is going to come now is going to be really confusing and a bit complicated, but we'll get there. Today is the 19th of August and you're looking at episode number 90. I know it's really confusing because last week episodes was number 66 and you might wonder what happened in between 66 and 90. In 15 days, in 10 days actually, I'm going to start a race around the world on a race boat, the boat I'm in right now. And as always, I'm super late with the editing. This racing thing is really for me moving from cruising into racing. It's me evolving as a sailor into a new into a new direction. And I really want to take you in this journey because I know lots of you like the part of minimalist sailing on my small boat. But who knows, you might discover a new world, you might like discover something uh, different that you did not know about sailing and um, and yeah I really want to take you on this journey but I also want to take you in this journey not six months late like I'm always but kind of on time because it's going to be racing around the world with different stopovers in different uh, continents so I want you to be able to follow this more um, not on a day-to-day -day, but more on a updated basis than what I normally do hence why today's video is almost up to day vlog which almost never happens to me and it's going to be like this from now on so this is episode 90 next few days week it's going to be 91 etc etc don't worry from 66 until 90 there is lots of lot more uh, cruising on my small boat that that happened and I really want to show you this but I'm going to need more time to edit this so as I take you along in this new journey in this new uh, lifestyle that you might discover at the same time as I leave it I'll uh, also give you some cruising from time to time which is uh, the old uh, the older footage I have that I still need to edit and that will be like kind of a bubble of cruising into more uh, racing but also it's a race around the world so it's going to be traveling in different countries it's going to be uh, sailing the southern ocean the north pacific it's going to be it's going to be something and I really hope to count you in this journey maybe trust me a little bit in whatever I can show you on this journey and and yeah I'm back for the adventure and I mean what could go wrong Man overboard! What's going on here? Good read. Looking for the Great days off? Days. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Jorge, how did you like the day? It was a very exciting day. <laughs> I learned a lot about the people that work in the office. Sí. Sí. Ya hemos eh, firmado el contrato, ¿eh? Ya, ya, ya hemos vendido nuestra alma al diablo. Sí, bueno, al diablo a no sé quién, <risa> pero <risa> a alguien hemos vendido, eso está seguro. Está seguro. No so, you sign? That's it? Yeah, we're stuck now. We're stuck now we're for a year and a half. Yeah. You're a great communicant. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm an amazing communicant. Yeah, I, I think I learned one name today. <risa> The bunch of sailors around me in this video and myself are hired as first mate for this race. 11 of us for 11 boats. For four months, we'll be preparing and training for the race. This is what we are here for. All right, so first day just finished. And yeah, no, pretty good day, really exciting. 
We've met most of the office, everyone from different team, media, operations, and everything. Phew. Today was a long day of training in the classroom, which is probably lots of time sitting for the bunch of sailors we are. But it was interesting learning a bunch and starting tomorrow uh, we're gonna be more on the field actually tomorrow we have a leadership thing um, in a, somewhere in the forest and after we'll start sailing so that's pretty cool and now we're going to run still trying to get fit for this race so, uh, everyone is coming <laughs> everyone is going to run Oh, shit. Everyone is leaving to run. Let's see who arrives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have to film it because then we can say we did it. Yeah, at least once. Along the sea. The one that make us go. No, no, no. We're not going for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to England. It's probably 10 degrees. I don't even know. I don't know even the water. And look at these guys. He's swimming. Jorge, what is this? The White House. The White House. The White House. There is a trunk in the window. But what is the Clipper Race? It's a race around the world for amateurs on 70-foot racing boats during 11 months through eight different stopovers around the globe. It is open to anyone, regardless of their previous sailing experience, as long as they take part and validate four levels of training. And for the round the world, only two professionals on board, the skipper and the first mate. The latest being the bunch of lads I'm running with right now. Good job! Yeah, we just passed eight. I have to applaud you and tell you thank you guys. Good job. <laughs> we survived, we're alive. Yeah. And thanks for waiting for me. If we if we keep doing this in four months, yeah. this will be just the, the warming up. I would be a war machine. <laughs> Do we have everybody? Yeah, we got some Jorge. Hola. What are we doing? Uh, we're gonna do some sort of leadership course. Yeah. I'm not really sure what <laughs> yeah, to expect. Sure. In order to know us better, the office got us to take part into a profiling test and routine. So they would have another tool to pair us with a skipper for the race. Hi, Hi there, you go. Nice you to meet go. you. Three days I haven't been much about sailing, we talked about sailing, we did like this leadership test and today finally we're gonna be on a boat but still not sailing. We're going to um, do some technical stuff on the boat because the idea is that as first mate we need to be able to know the boat upside down and really able to um, do technical checks but also fix things. As you can see on the top of the mast you've got various bits of you know, electrical equipment. This is your VHF with antenna. When you're doing a rig check, you come all the way to the top of the mast and then just slowly check your way down. So this 
is a boat set of standing rigging here. Okay, we change all standing rigging and running rigging every race. Okay. Um, the only other thing with these is that we get quite commonly and the low friction ring cap line goes on too. Alright? That means that these loaded points, yeah, pulling directly on those off See? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't feel the leg. I don't think it got the leg like not streaming. Just one in particular or Your, uh, okay, so tomorrow we're going out sailing for three days, say this, so we're provisioning now. Hey Hugh, what are we doing today? Um, photo shoot. Photo shoot? Yeah, I feel like a model. And actually we might go sailing at some point, eventually. <laughs> and we got Ryan! He made it! What's going on here? All right, so here we have a really natural photo shoot in the harbor. <laughs> really, really active. <laughs> and we're finally off for a sail. This first day was really frustrating. I really wanted to sail and test a bit the boat and the only thing we did was taking first reef, second reef, third reef and checking those reefs back up just in order to practice and to know the way uh, this boat should be maneuvered. The harness is any of the two, right? Yeah, which one? Okay, so we are off and it's going to be wet and cold today. So Dan, what are we going to do? <laughs> We're going to get the main up and go sail it. Woo! Woo! Hey Dan. Oh man, that was hard work. Dan, it's a bit like the Mediterranean here in the end. One day you have 40 knots, the other day 3. Pretty much. Just much colder. Oh, it's, that's the oh, yeah, Dragon yeah, Ball line, the, right? The Dragon Ball line, yeah, right? It's pretty, pretty technical here. Jacket. Ah! <laughs> 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 It's like, you know, in a, what's this movie, Inception, oh, when yeah. they start walking in the corridor, <laughs> it just turns. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
over here. water we finally put a bit more sails up been able to test a bit more the boat it's a pretty basic but we have a lot to go through we did uh, some maneuver board maneuver uh, just you know power handling getting closer to a mark like it if it was a maneuver board that's pretty cool to routine to run through and uh, and yeah getting there pretty pretty good day Looking forward to more.